So, Joanna Benz, CEO and founder of Longevity Center. We're, we're here in Warsaw, which is great. I'm here great to, to have you here. put through my paces, which I'm very excited about. But uh, I understand in December at the Buck Institute uh, conference, which is coming up, very high level conference, you're going to be promoting and supporting a round table associated with clinical longevity. So, yeah. so why did you think this was important? It is really important to discuss among longevity clinic owners and, uh, and longevity clinics in general to see what is actually a gold standard, what are the, um, what are the diagnostics that we all should use, uh, what works, what doesn't work. How do we all work with biological ages? Because there's so many different options of, uh, of measuring biological aging. Um, but there's different ways to measure it in the scientific environment. And then working with the client, you have to explain it in the context of medicine. And I think this is something that, uh, that was also requested by doctors that we, when we went around and we met with a number of clinics and we saw that I think we could all benefit from this type of discussions. Mm -hmm. Of course, we will all um, have our own special areas that we would like to specialize, but there is a number of common grounds that uh, that would be really, really worth discussing. This will be also great for doctors that would like to maybe enter the longevity space and to see um, and understand what is already available. And also we wanted to create a platform for suppliers of technology, but also of maybe diagnostics, new ways that we could actually measure uh, different hallmarks of aging and see what, what works and what interventions we could recommend. So, so you mentioned like a gold standard there. Mm -hmm. um, what you're doing here is very impressive. You've got lots of therapies, a very nice uh, patient flow going through your clinic. Um, do you feel there's still scope for setting a gold standard for the industry? And we have decided this type of client journey works for us. Mm -hmm. And uh, we did it with a number of doctors that work with us and advise us uh, from different aspects of medicine. And it works for us. But then I see also a lot of clinics focusing mainly on uh, on MRI and on diagnostics, um, or uh, technological diagnostics. So I think there's different standards that we all use that are really medically validated. For us as a clinic, it's not only important to test the customer, but also to give the right recommendations. And also after a while to check whether it works. And to check whether it works, we have to really understand how to work with, uh, with those biomarkers that measure results. So I believe there's no gold, gold standard as such, but there's certain um, tests that I believe should be should become a standard. There's a lot of clinics that are called longevity clinics, but they don't do any medical tests before they do, for example, IVs or, or treatments. And I believe if you are medical and you, if you really want to make it um, holistically and, uh, and um, follow the medical um, compliance, I think you need to do a certain level of testing that, uh, that it's minimally required. I would agree, but do you, do you feel that this is what's going to happen in the Buck uh, sessions, that you're going to establish the pathway now for setting a more of an industry standard for We hope so. Claims? At least we will start uh, the discussion. Yeah. I believe there's, uh, we would like to do it annually yeah. to really also invite new clinics and new uh, players uh, in the field. Um, so we hope to achieve certain, certain standards for uh, for clinics that could be implemented anywhere in the world. Yeah, great. So let's talk about anywhere in the world because you've got some big expansion plans as well. So tell me what's happening with Longevity Centre that you can share with us publicly that's uh, coming up for you guys. Yeah, we started uh, with Warsaw, which was uh, nearly four years ago now. And this year we're opening Zurich. Uh, in the meantime, we also had a clinic in Germany in the Five Star Hotel. And that was like a franchise, is that right? Or this was, was kind of no, this was our clinic, but now we are actually going into franchise model. Oh, okay. Now we are preparing our licensing model uh, so that we can actually standardize certain processes and move to 
any country in Europe and beyond Europe. We would like to be in Middle East, we would like to be in the US and partner with other clinics or maybe establish new clinics. Interesting. So when you're looking for kind of franchise candidates, what will you be looking for? Because there's all sorts of interesting clinics that are now yeah. moving into being longevity clinics, yeah. whether it's aesthetics or even um, uh, fertility clinics I've seen. So, so what would you be looking for? Well, ideally we would look for a doctor that is uh, interested in either owns a clinic already and would like to convert into a longevity focus, or maybe a private investor that would like to set up a clinic and uh, employ doctors and uh, receive really standardized solutions that can be applicable to uh, to various countries. So ideally a doctor, but not not necessary. Okay, interesting. So that your baseline is obviously still within the uh, medical community, as it were, yes. which is which is great. And obviously you've also got some new things that you're you're working on. Uh, when we spoke before, you talked about. Uh, teenage longevity, which I found yes. fascinating. So, so what else are you doing at the moment? Well, the teenage longevity is really interesting because when we started, a lot of people we talked to about longevity uh, services thought that this is mainly for people over 60. Mm -hmm. But actually, with time, uh, we see that most of our customers are around 40. This is our target group. So most of the customers are between 35 and 55. This is the, the largest numbers. And then we also see that a lot of our clients actually want to do something for their kids. Um, we have men and women. Uh, we have very often couples. Uh, longevity is a family um, business, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, or a family idea. And we see when a, a husband starts the process, very often uh, he brings his better half or the other way around. And then children were the obvious choice for us. But for that, we needed to find the right partner. We are working with a very good um, pediatrician that helped us to design a standard for children. So another thing is uh, we are going into uh, supplementation as okay. well. Right. We are uh, now developing our own supplement line, uh, which is going to be available early next year. And then the third one is the client journey, because for us, uh, monitoring progress is super interesting and super important as well and motivating the client to stay motivated yeah. to follow the rules yeah. and to follow the recommendations and to measure results. So for that, we need a digital platform. And at the moment, we are uh, very much focusing on our strategy for digitalization. And there's a few um, ideas and partnerships that we are currently discussing that we can possibly disclose in the next few weeks. Yeah, exciting plans. And obviously, yeah. with the the supplements, um, nutrition is a big part of uh, of longevity as yeah. well. So I understand you're doing some training now of nutritionists as well. Yes, we. Another thing that we are doing is longevity academy because we started because we train our own doctors and onboard our own employees. Uh, we uh, we standardize the process of training and uh, we start actually also with external training and we start with nutritionists, um, with longevity nutrition. Mm -hmm. And as you said, diet is a very important part of longevity recommendations, but it's not only diet, it's first of all nutrition. It's what you eat, how you eat and what is personally important to you and what is actually best in your personal case. So based on your microbiome, what you, on your... Um, it will haunt your health on your overall um, checkup and results that we have on your hormonal balance. There's so much influencing um, how we should eat and what what is what works for us uh, that we start with that. And we're really trying to supplement a diet in the, the most um, personalized way. Um, we are also working on a number of supplements. There will be five different ones that are going to be focusing on different areas like uh, focus, cognition, performance, and metabolic health and uh, and fat loss. Okay, so Joanna, let's talk about the center here because there's a lot going on. I can see that you're expanding, new floors being uh, leased out or whatever it is that you're doing. So I understand you're doing a regeneration center or looking to do one here. Yes, I mean, in this center, we are testing a lot of interventions that uh, in new centers are going to be under a separate brand, uh, a longevity regeneration center. First, we do professional testing and then adapting the training to, to your needs. But also, we are planning to have a number of regeneration technologies 
uh, coming up, but I, I can't talk yet about yeah, that. Yeah, well, it sounds like you've got a lot of exciting plans coming up. So maybe just let's just talk about who your clients are, because people are, I guess some people are coming here traveling to, to this facility and other yes. people are more local. How does that work from a, from a demographic as well as a marketing perspective? I'm just kind of interested in that. So we have both um, local uh, clients and they're usually people that are already interested in their own health or they are already into performance and they would like to um, get to the next level. Um, or the people that are interested in um, in checkup and then also a follow up of uh, what what they can do um, in at home or what they can do with us. Uh, the demographic is between 35 and 55. First of all, they are getting a full plan of different treatments, uh, which includes uh, testing. Uh, assessments, but also certain tests that they can do at home before they come to us. Uh, also co cognitive assessment, also sleep uh, sleep assessments uh, during the stay. Uh, and then during this uh, few days, we also do treatments uh, and also certain coaching on diet, exercise and, and, uh, and training, mm -hmm. which is uh, again personalized. So minimum one day, but actually we recommend two to three days so that you can also make it into a nice experience and do certain regeneration, uh, regenerative solutions as well. Yeah, well, of course, um, I'm in my mid-50s now, so of course I'm starting to regret all those lifestyle choices that I made earlier in my, so in my life. So perfect time first. <laughs> <laughs> but as soon, I just come back to the, the concept of the teenage uh, product, which I think is really fascinating because, of course, they can get ahead of a lot of the issues that we've been perhaps naive about or just complacent about in the way that we've lived our lives. I was talking about myself personally. So, mm -hmm. uh, and of course, teenagers are very different now. Their, their world is full of very different um, drivers. Um, they're more environmentally aware, perhaps. Yeah. They've got way more pressure on them in terms of social media and um, the pressures that come to bear through education and so on. So I can imagine this is quite an interesting program that you're going to be looking at. So maybe just to spend and a little bit is, more time yeah, talking about that. Yeah, this is a super, fast, super interesting as well new topic because we also see that, uh, you know, like with us, um, when I was a teenager, a lot of those solutions were just not available. We didn't know enough about microbiome. We didn't know enough about uh, the right type of diet. We were really following recommendations and best practices of our grandparents and our parents. Now we know more, definitely. Now the teenagers are also exposed to a lot of technology, but also they're exposed to um, the food that um, I would say it's more challenging than when we were growing up. I mean, there was much less hormone in the food. There was, uh, there was less availability of certain food that is not making us too healthy. Yeah, understood. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I guess that we probably grew up on um, more There's traditional no McDonald's foods. And yeah. Exactly. So yeah. we also see that we can uh, introduce the longevity topic through, you can learn much more from your children. Sometimes, of course, the children learn from their parents, but I think um, the parents can also learn from their children when they bring some good practices uh, home. We see a lot of our customers having problems with their children, with their microbiome, with hormones already in this age, uh, but also with different type of allergies. And um, so they are challenged with a lot of uh, health issues that I don't remember having problems with when I was growing up. So with children, we're also going to introduce a very strong uh, psychological uh, aspects of their health. Uh, so emotional and uh, psychological assessments, which very much influence um, everything else in their uh, in their day to day. Stress is a big factor for us, but it's also for the younger generation. As you mentioned, uh, social media, and there's a lot of additional stressors that they're exposed to that we were not. Yeah, different pressures. Yeah. The oldest customer we have is 101 this year. Mm -hmm. And uh, so this was also a very, very interesting experience for us because there's not enough comparative biomarkers for us to measure the biological age of a centenarian. Mm -hmm. And, but this is something we do actually as a, as a CSR. Uh, we uh, work with, um, with a community of, um, of the Warsaw, the survivors of the Warsaw Uprising. And they are, most of them, they are around 100 years old. And 
uh, very interesting. Uh, I'm sure it is. Yeah, the fascinating clients for us. And, and just, just winding back to the supplements that you're looking to develop. So you mentioned that these are obviously part of a diet, but likewise, I remember you talking to me about perhaps even one for jet lag, for example. Mm -hmm. so, oh yes. Yeah. So so how how are you approaching that? How are you kind of verticalizing or making those choices? Because it's quite a quite a complex decision to make. The one for jet lag is not only for jet lag, but it's really for the frequent fly flyers, but also for anybody flying. We know that actually flying is not too good. It's not so good for our longevity because of the exposure to radiation, but also being uh, confined in, in the small space for especially long distance flights are not so good for us. So we are working at the moment with Dr. Eric Verdin on this one. Uh, which is uh, we're trying to fine tune it uh, in terms of the ingredients, and this should be on the market also early next year. We needed something like this. I needed um, a recommendation on how to fly and go to different conferences and be active, mm -hmm. and also on the other side to take care of my longevity, to my well-being, and my uh, my. Uh, my focus, concentration, and uh, and energy wherever I go. And will they be purely available for longevity center clients, or will you be making these available into the wider market? No, we would love to make it available to a wider market. We, in fact, the supplements are going to be under a different brand because we would like this to be also one of the standards in the industry. There's a number of supplement providers at the moment, and and uh, more and more coming up in Europe, and. Uh, we are based in Europe, so most of our uh, supplements are validated for most of the countries in the European Union and Switzerland. Um, but we would like to uh, be, be sure that whatever we recommend to our clients is well tested. Well, that sounds wonderful. And of course, we could continue with much of this conversation, Joanna, but thanks very much for joining us today. It's Thank been you fascinating. Very much. Thank you very much. And uh, I hope you enjoy your time here with us. It's so far so good. <laughs>